to this Wednesday edition of The Box Seat. I'm Matt Kelly. We've got eight races ahead of us at Ascot, but first let's check the conditions and we're looking at a fine day and top temperature of 26 degrees. The track should be a good four and the rail is in the 14 metre position. The first of eight races is at 124. It's the Get the Tab Touch Maiden over 1400 metres. The replay horse is number seven, Rogue Empress finishing sixth at Bunbury on November 30. Three quarters to a length, persistence time. Two and a half lengths behind them, Al Delar. Uncle Lino, Rogue Empress behind them, sticking on. I'm a love man coming down the middle. Miss Rumor Mill at the 200 from persistence time, who keeps on coming back. It's persistence time. He's rallying. He drives back underneath. Miss Rumor Mill, Miss Rumor Mill, persistence time. Persistence time, finding, giving, regains the lead. Persistence time. The 2,000 metres was just too far for her on that occasion. Her runs behind See Me Sizzle and Roganella in 66 grade prior to that were full of merit. She's back to maiden grade, she jumps from barrier one and she goes on top. From the 12, Amber Glow who wanted to pull throughout last start at Bunbury. She eventually finished a fifth. She's certainly due to win and can win and has a Chris Parnham in the saddle. The two Friar away it goes in for second. He was wide the trip when a fifth last start to Jelani Express, but I thought he battled on quite well in the straight. And the five, son of a coat, goes in for fourth. He was all over the shop last start at Northam. He still finished off quite well, though, to finish a second, and he has trialled well since. The top four selections in the opening event on Wednesday, going to seven, Rogue Empress from the 12, Amber Glow, the two, Friar away, and the five, son of a coat. Race number two is at 159. It's the Glenroy Chaff Maiden over 1400 metres. The replay horse is number five, Bombardment, finishing fourth at Bunbury on November 30. Ross Hanna, it made the turn very, very wide and goes up with Bombardment. Coming to the 200, Pokemon Pete still in front. It's Pokemon Pete by a length. On the outside now, here comes Ice Crusher. Ice Crusher levels up with Pokemon Pete. Song of Vincent, he's coming again in the middle of them. On the outside, Ice Crusher though, going home a little too well, a bit green, but too good for them, the filly. The daughter he over-raced early in that event, but I thought he still ran through the line quite nicely. Brad Parnham rides here from a middle gate, and he can certainly break through here. He goes on top from the 10 Universal Fancy. This girl sat on the speed, and I thought she battled away quite well when three lengths off Jelani Express last start. The one, a Warbo and Grado, goes in for third. He rattled home to finish just three lengths off a city a star at Bunbury. And the two, maybe one more, goes in for fourth. He was game when just a length off a sax appeal at Albany. The top four selections for race number two. The toppy is the five, Bombardment. From the ten, Universal Fancy. The one, Warbo and Grado. And the two, maybe one more. Race number three is at 2.37. It's the Western Brace Picks handicap over 1,200 metres. The replay horse is number three, Vital Blast, finishing fifth at Ascot on November 22. Pot looking for the way clear. Pike goes back to the inside to find the cutaway, but Tango Aura booted nicely clear. 200 left to go. Tango Aura led the way. Here's the favourite starting to wind up now, coming with a head full of steam. Street Fury over on the inside. Street Fury rushing through, grabs Tango Aura. Too good for them and draws clear late in the race. Street Fury. I think that Street Fury form is the form to follow heading into this. A vital Blast is third up now, so should strip fitter and jumps from a reasonable enough gate in barrier number five. The eight, Lucky Raw, goes in for second. She beat home Vital Blast by half length in that replay, but did experience a much easier run. She suffers from a worse draw coming into this race. Uh, I don't think there'll be much between them again, but just favouring the three over the eight. Uh, the two, Spillanova, goes in for third. This a Jim a Taylor runner was pretty good on debut at Northam and I like the look of gate number four. I think he can run some sort of a race. And the 12, Aconite goes in for fourth. She's another one that's drawn pretty well in barrier number three. Uh, she produced a pretty good effort when in behind a wine thief last time around at Northam. She does have to carry the extra four kilograms though. That's the only slight knock, but she can be competitive in the third event. I'm going with the three, Vital Blast on top from the eight, Lucky Raw. The stable mate, the two, spilling over in for third, and the 12, Aconite, rounds out the four. Race number four is at 3.12, and it's the Amelia Park Lamb handicap over 1,200 metres. The replay horse here is number four, another story. 
finishing 10th in the Jungle Mist Classic at Ascot on November 25. Home straight, Meteoroid levelled up to Patapus at the 300 metre mark, a length and a half, another story. Volkov down the outside in front of Fontaine Bleu, and then Celebrity Dream coming from the back of the field with a great finishing run. Volkov hit the front, but here's Celebrity Dream. Pike again at his best, timed his run beautifully, and Celebrity Dream draws away to beat Volkov, top of the class. Snuck a listed fillies and mares race back to a benchmark 52 for another story that's a huge drop in grade i do concede that this is a bit of a tricky race with a, a few chances in it but i think that another story is certainly deserving of a win with maddie ortier in the saddle the three the escort goes in for second i was a little bit disappointed with this fellow's run when five lengths of portalian last start he's certainly better than that and i expect a better showing from him in this event the one the shoe goes in for third this boy was also five lengths away from the winner last start. That horse was Roganella. He's a mile back to the 1,200 is the shoe, but I think this task is a fair bit easier than the last couple of runs that he's had and can certainly figure. And the six, a scuffy, she rounds out the top four. She was one and a half lengths off Nicatrice at York, and I think that form reads pretty well with that horse winning the regional championship. The top four selections in race number four, going the four, another story on top of the three, the escort, the one, the shoe, and the six, scuffed.